Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back to our techies and this is Samsung Galaxy on 7 in my hand and the problem is that it's locks with FRP lock or Google or it's asking for uh, verify Google account. So basically uh, this kind of problem appears after formatting the phone from uh, recovery mode. So it's whenever I try, try to turn on this phone, it's asking for verify your account. This device was reset to continue sign in, use your previous uh, Google ID, but it's not working uh, with a previous Google ID. So first of all, you require a SD card and download the quick shortcut maker or Google and Google device manager, Google account manager from the given link below the description and copy it to SD card and then insert the SD card into the phone and then let's start the process so it's inserted okay, not properly. okay now it's inserted you can also use otj cable to uh, for this phone but basically memory card is prefer for this method so now first of all uh, in the uh, again let's start with that okay a green and okay from here just a good tap on the setting click select the setting properly setting okay and from setting uh, down go to the keyboard size and type anything so and tap over that and just select the assist and here you can search a file for the phone just like the uh, file manager of the phone so let's search for the file manager simply and file manager okay, okay my files and here is the SD card and install this uh, quick sort Cut maker and simply install it. Okay. Okay. In this, uh, in some devices, it it it, wa it was not working with the keyboard size. So again, back. Okay. Select the text shortcut. Okay. Text shortcut and. There is no line here now, as you can see, there is no uh, line, so it's open in the same way. Again, file my files and install the quick shortcut maker. Unknown resources, right? Here. Okay, it's installed now, so let's open the quick shortcut maker and search for the file uh, of uh, google account manager with uh, email try it with the email id and password so search it for the file okay it's saying something like error google account manager error. okay it seems it's uh, this uh, version of quick uh, shortcut maker is not compatible for this phone so okay so to for that problem you required to also install a android device manager okay so already there so mm, try it once try okay it seems uh, could not sign in so uh, so let's back back okay, again open the my file files okay first install the android uh, account manager so google account manager install it and after installing the google account manager then in again install the quick shortcut maker basically this google account manager is compatible for only android 6 so all are the links are below the description check out there for android nougat android lollipop for android um, uh, marshmallow all are the link below the description check out there so now it's open so now again search for uh, google account manager so searching search where it is 
account manager just open it okay here is the type email and password so here is it is just simply uh, open it and again try then select tap over the and browser sign in browser sign in okay okay now you can sign in with your any gmail account which you have so sign in with the gmail id so let me sign in and basically this uh, this method working for all the samsung phones so once you can uh, click over the once you get the browser signing then there is no problem uh, uh, with unlocking the frp lock so now uh, okay thing email my i have given wrong password so okay okay now it's signing so after the signing just uh, simply restart the phone or you can also go to the just home screen and just again uh, start from there this i'm going to home screen okay now again start from there you can also restart the from phone so it's there is no issue with that so account is added now so from this step uh, from this step now it takes around seven to eight minutes to completely go on the home screen it takes uh, i have tried it twice because uh, once it stuck on the uh, seven or eight minutes so i thought it's something uh, wrong happened with this phone so i tried to restart the phone so again after that it again takes me approximately 10 minutes to go to the home screen so let fast forward the video for, for now Okay, now it seems completed and it takes me eight to nine minutes after restart the phone again it's uh nine eight to nine minutes to get on this screen so on the date on date and time screen so let me now uh, quickly uh, set up this phone Okay, now it's on the home screen and to remove the gmail id from the phone again you can completely uh, restore the phone from the setting to uh, make you make the phone restore like a new then you can just format the phone from internally uh, just from setting backup and reset just reset the phone it will restore like a new there will be no frp lock at the time of starting the phone so that's it's, it's in that way you can easily fix the frp lock screen uh, of the phone and you might be remember that uh, this there is three different process to do that so this method is mostly working on android 6 or android 7 means android marshmallow or android no good but in many phones it's on android lollipop this method will not work in android lollipop you have to use the slight synchronized method there's also a also link below the description check out that method so that will that method will work on the lollipop devices so thanks for watching this and remember that the formatting of the phone after this uh, on my this on 7 it takes me 15 minutes to restart the phone but in samsung e7 and samsung j7 it takes just normally uh, eight to nine minutes to start the phone completely so thanks for watching this if you like my video please click on thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and share this video